When life seems to be getting too much, if you're feeling stressed, maybe you've got too much going on, if you're feeling overwhelmed, just look for your light. One small light can grow in time. Steven and Rab here. Welcome to the Guilty Coaches channel. When life is getting too much, when you're getting overwhelmed, find your light in the darkness. Find the fire! <laughs> <laughs> uh, we know what it's like when you get stressed. We feel like there's a million thoughts all running at once. When there's things going on in your life, you just sometimes can't find the time to even think. This lesson is for you. You can feel like you're surrounded by all the stresses going on and it can be like a blankness of darkness or fog clouding your mind, your vision, your thoughts, your feelings. It can be very, very stressful. Now the way to go about this is to find your light in the darkness. What I mean by this is getting in the now. That is your first step because all those thoughts and feelings and all the overwhelm is all feelings of the past or feelings of the future and by getting in the now you create, start to carve out this light which can grow in time. Then once you've established the light, focus on the light. Don't worry about everything else that's going on around you. Don't worry about how much darkness is surrounding you or how much smoke and fog is clouding your vision. As long as you can see your light, focus on moving forwards with your light and your light will get bigger, hotter, louder, etc, etc. So what this looks like in the real world, what is your light? It might be 10 seconds worth of a solid meditation, just blanking out your thoughts, maybe listen to some, uh, some white noise, put some earplugs in, put um, an eye mask on and just zoning out and getting focusing on your breath, focusing on your heartbeat, focusing on the, the sound or the feeling of the breath going through your nose. It can be something very, very simple that gets you in the now rather than the past or the future. And then when you're nice and grounded, you can focus on the very things that are important to you. Whatever your goal is you're working towards, whatever that light is at the end of the tunnel. That way you don't have to think about anything else except for that one important goal. Once you've established what your light is and you're working towards it, make that light shine bright because you might be an inspiration for others. People around, everyone's always looking to be inspired. It's the very basis of what we do. We try and inspire people to make changes to their health and fitness. Then if you're focused on following your goal, your light, it will burn bright. And people will say, you know what, they're following that. I'm going to try and be more like them or whoever it is you're following. And you can inspire them to make changes too. Whatever you're doing in life, whatever is going on with you, just be in the now. Put a smile on your face and experience the world around you as it's happening. And you will connect with others in a way that you couldn't imagine. You'll inspire others in a way you couldn't imagine. And you get to start a fire! <laughs> I love fire. <laughs> you just know that we had such fun making that video. It was like, what video can we make with smoke grenades in it? Coming next week is a bouncy castle. We went home stinking of paraffin. <laughs> paraffin and smoke. It was great fun. It was awesome. We got to play a fire. <laughs> Seriously, next week is a bouncy castle.
Mm -hmm. And any other boys' toys that we can think of, pretty much, yeah. So, if you liked today's episode, please like, comment, share, and ring the notification bell. Pop into the comments your thoughts, your feelings, and of course, always your emotions. Go deep. Balls deep. <laughs>